Well, one thing we're definitely good at, hanging out at the library. <laughs> we were there for several hours. We're always there longer than I think we're gonna need to be there, but we always have unexpected things come up, more work that has to get done, projects, our social media posts, etc., etc. Anyway, it's now almost four o'clock. Our first day in Austin. We're getting a little bit of a late start. I guess you guys are probably getting used to that. We are gonna go to an area called South Congress now. It's a shopping area with restaurants and stuff that's, I guess, well known, and there's also some murals we're gonna try to find. Come along with us. Hopefully we'll have some fun. So we just had a pretty crazy thing happen. We were taking pictures and video at the last mural and there were two other people there also doing the same thing and I was looking at them and I thought, my goodness, they look familiar. I'm pretty sure I follow them. It was Matt and Nat who have a YouTube channel and an Instagram that I follow. And I don't know, just what are the chances of running into them there? So we talked with them for a little while and Hopefully we'll see them sometime. They're from Nashville. Hopefully we'll get to see them sometime there. But that was really fun. That so was fun. nice to meet you, Nat and Matt, and hopefully we'll see you guys again in the future. As you might have noticed, we're walking through a rather residential neighborhood right now. We've departed from the South Congress area because we're looking for another mural. And here it is. driving around downtown trying to get a feel for things and I'm pretty impressed by the skyline and the architecture of the city. It's pretty cool. Look what I found back here. What are you doing? Are you laying on our clothes, kitty girl? How cute is that little face? Not bad for a cat. <laughs> you hear what he's saying. By the time we got done our work today at the library, it didn't leave us a lot of time to walk around and explore in Austin, but what we did see was really nice. It looks like a pretty neat little city. Big city. I guess it's the second biggest city in Texas, actually. And uh, we enjoyed walking around. And what a surprise to run into Matt and Nat. What are the odds of that? That's pretty crazy. Uh, we found a park, Zilker Park, which is a pretty popular park, but it's dark, so that doesn't do us much good as far as enjoying the park. But we are going to make some dinner here, and then we plan to do more sightseeing tomorrow. We have something new on the menu tonight in our van. Something we haven't cooked before while on the road. Although we have had it as leftovers that we have frozen before during our part-time van life days. Tonight, we are having Mexican bean soup. It's a recipe that I got from my good friend Joanne. It's always been a go-to of ours uh, when we had our house that wasn't on wheels. Uh, it's something that's kind of quick and easy. We cook up some ground beef, and then it's just a bunch of cans of stuff. Canned beans, canned corn, and tomatoes, and then 
you know me, I like spices. So there's a lot of spices that go into it. And then we top it with goodness, cheese and sour cream and chips and maybe some green onions or cilantro. Makes for a good meal. The challenge we have making this in the van is that I don't have a really big pot. Usually you'd put three kinds of beans in, black, kidney, and some kind of white bean. But I don't know that I want to put the black beans in because I don't know that we'll have space in the pot here. We'll see. Time for all the spice. We got some chili powder, oregano, parsley, paprika, even some dill, some cayenne pepper, some cumin. Some other kind of pretzels. Oh, what kind of pretzels? Yogurt covered pretzels. Yes! Hi, beat them! Did you guys know that I love Wheel of Fortune? And that's on my bucket list. I would love to be on there sometime. I would actually like to do it with Steve as a couple. I think we'd do pretty well. I probably wouldn't be much help at guessing the puzzles, but I do think that I could master that wheel and make it land where I wanted to every time. <laughs> we actually did try to be on it before they came to town and we went, but it was not really based on like talent or anything like that. They just did a drawing and then you got to be up, but we didn't get drawn, so. We'll have to keep trying, I guess. That's a little early for that, I would guess. Now, you two pick three more consonants and one more vowel. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. That's it, that's it. Wow. I didn't get it. All right, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We uh, parked at a Walmart last night, and this morning we grabbed some quick breakfast in the van, and now we're heading to the state capitol building. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Texas, riding the Bronco. <laughs> so the fun thing with being in a city is finding parking. It's not really very fun, though. So right now, that's our uh, mission. Uh, usually when you'd visit the parking garage, or the Capitol, you could stay at the parking garage for free, but we can't fit in the parking garage. So we gotta find another spot. Fun, fun, fun. All right, I think we nailed it. All right, well, if you know us, we're all about the FRWE. <laughs> they do offer free parking in the garage. So if you're a wee little one with a low roof, <laughs> you can fit, you can have a couple hours for free, but we're on the street right outside the Capitol. I'm not sure what the price is going to be like, but hopefully it's not too bad. Great. $1.50 per hour. How much did you put in? $1.50. Well done. That means we have an hour. <laughs> All right, you ready to go see another state capitol building? Let's go. Here we are in the capitol building. We have discovered that we really enjoy checking out capitol buildings because they're usually pretty amazing.
very high in this one. Fourth floor, women's delegates. <laughs> Trying to figure out if we could get up to the top here. Steve said he found a staircase, but then it's roped off. Boo! See, there's a staircase there, and it looks like you have to walk around up here. Well, the outside's all under construction, but the inside was fun to look at. Got a little dizzy back there. <laughs> so what'd you think of the Capitol? It was awesome. What'd you think? It was okay. Uh, I've seen better. No, it was pretty. It wasn't as much fun though as some of the others where we could do a lot more exploring. I'm glad we saw it. Well, according to my count, we got 57 more to go. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Capitol Building. Time for some more library. We may have set a record today for ourselves for shortest amount of time spent at the library. We didn't last as long as normal. Usually we shut the library down. I think today we were in there for less than two hours. I could not handle being in there anymore for a few different reasons. Number one, we were at a table not far from the bathroom because it was the only one with outlets and the bathroom doors were open and there were a lot of things that we could hear coming from inside the bathrooms. I probably don't need to get into much detail about, thing. about what we might have been hearing, but what place keeps their bathroom doors open for the world to hear? It was entertaining and disgusting at the same time. So there was that. Then my computer has continued to have issues. Some days it works okay, somewhat. Today it just kept shutting down. And then also I was looking forward to a break after our busy fall season was over, but I took on a new project for Christmas, and uh, that's been a little bit uh, frustrating, I guess, trying to get details for that and get things done, and things just weren't going right. So <laughs> we just decided to take a pause. And we're only in Austin for today, and then we have to leave, and we really haven't been able to enjoy much of it. So we're really hoping this afternoon that we can find something fun to do. I will be honest, um, we will be back in Florida in several days and back um, in our home area, even though we don't have a house anymore, um, in just over a week, and I'm ready for it. We have loved exploring, it's been amazing, but I think I have just, I'm going to speak for myself, I've gotten tired, I think. It's been challenging with work and our computer problems and other things. So I'm ready to slow down and hit the reset button. I'm ready to get a new computer. I'm ready for us to get a new power unit. That's what Steve's actually checking right now. Uh, we keep having complications with that and the power not coming in from the solar right. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a little bit of a break and reset. Well, the one bright spot is that the solar is currently working. It's bringing in about 120 watts, which is fine um, and it's recharging I think it's about 71% charged so at least that's working for the moment um, I do agree with Audrey it will be nice to work on our what seems to be growing list of projects with the van new power unit get the inverter fixed uh, definitely get new computers and try to kind of fix all these things that have been broken or are giving us problems so it'll be nice to be able to 
address those, and you hit that reset button. And to do some shopping for clothing and shoes. We definitely need to get new sneakers for both of us. And maybe some hiking shoes, maybe some winter coats. I don't know, we'll see. I like to do a lot of research before we visit an area. I was limited on time when we came here to Austin, but I did find a few things, and Mount Bonnell was one of the things that's on my list. It's supposed to have a pretty good view of the city. So we're gonna check that out and have some lunch. Your destination is on the left. What are you doing, books? So Steve and I have been sitting here talking a little bit more about the frustrations I was mentioning. And he made some good points. I think he's right. I think he's right. I think he's right. I think he's right that um, one of the reasons why maybe we're feeling a little exhausted and frustrated is obviously the problems we mentioned that we've been having with technology, but also just the pace that we've been keeping. Because when we got on the road, it was later than we had hoped it would be. And then we had places we had to be for certain things by certain dates, like the Balloon Fiesta and Van Fest, and now back in Florida for Thanksgiving. In the future, I think we'll be able to go at a slower pace, and it'll be a little bit more enjoyable. Like, for instance, we're here in Austin. We only had two days, and we didn't get to see a lot. So in the future, hopefully, we'll be able to just stay in Austin as long as we want, if we want to, to see more and do more. And the other thing is, I think... Once we're back in Florida and can regroup a little bit, we'll figure out our finances a little better. And I think we'll find that we'll probably want to spend a little bit more money sometimes in new areas to experience some new things. So one thing that we probably haven't quite explained well is that we have always planned to winter in Florida. Uh, for a few reasons. First being, outside of a few days here and there, Audra and I both don't like cold weather. Uh, the second big reason is... We have a lot of family and friends in Florida. And the third big one is because we lived there for well over a decade, we're quite familiar with Florida and we know where to go and we know there's some neat spots to hang around. So um, we're going to use that time to reset, learn from our mistakes, and uh, be able to hit the road hopefully in early spring of 2024 and having some things figured out and fixed and hopefully can um, enjoy ourselves a little bit more maybe not rely on a library quite as much although I'm sure we'll still have to use libraries here and there but anyway that's our plan wanted to make sure that we explain that a little bit better when we get to Florida we still plan to live in the van full-time but we're just going to be going at a slower pace. So we'll be spending time with family and friends, visiting old neighbors. And because we have family in the area, it's easier to go there and use their resources or even access my old computer, which is in storage, and things that make it a little bit easier to get some things done that we need to get done. All right, you ready to go see something? Let's go see something. <laughs> Let's go see something other than a library. There's a lot of steps here to climb. Look how many more we have. Definitely nice to get outside and enjoy the sunshine after all those days of rainy gloom that we had and cold. I uh, got up to the top, and to be honest, I was a little disappointed. But then we walked a little further, and then you could see the uh, skyline of the city. So that was definitely pretty cool. That's hilarious. I even looked it up just because I'm my learn to learn from my mistakes. I went to the website. Turn 
we're back downtown and we're gonna do a little bit of walking around again. So we're back on South Congress, which is where we were last night. I think when we go to a new area, it's a little difficult to uh, get a lay of the land and I haven't had a lot of time to research. So we just figured the easiest thing was to come back somewhere where we knew we enjoyed it. pretty interesting back there at Allen's Boots. Walking around, checking things out. We're having some fun, taking pictures. And then uh, I recognize this guy. And I'm like, he's wearing a, a, a basketball shirt. And uh, so I looked him up quick. And sure enough, it's Bruce Bowen. For those of you who know sports, will recognize him from several NBA teams. Um, he won three NBA championships with the Spurs. So it's pretty cool. I felt like a creeper though. I don't know what it is. I wish I would have had the nerve to go up and just say hi to him. But as you see, I got some footage of him through the racks. <laughs> have a little more time here tonight not be rushed and we also got free parking another bonus we <laughs> like our free parking score we came back to Zilker Park this time with a little bit of daylight and before we make dinner we're gonna go walk along the trail maybe see some water and some more of the Austin skyline Here's the situation in the van tonight. Gray Gray is settled in the front, just relaxing. We're parked along the trail that we were just walking on in Zilker Park. Steve and I are divvying up our time with the computer. 
because we only have one that works fully. So he's editing right now. I'm making dinner. Then we're going to do a little driving, I think, later. I think we're going to start heading to Houston. And while we drive to Houston, I'll do some editing. Tonight is leftovers. We're having leftover Mexican bean soup. And I'm going to work on some toppings. Here's dinner with all the fixins. Here's the mess for making dinner. Hey, little lady gray. You ready to go for a walk? Huh? You ready to go for a walk? Huh? I think it's time to get up, you little bag bones. Ready to go for a walk? Huh? Are you ready to go for a walk? Come on. Get yourself up, sleepy girl. Come on, let's go for a walk. Yeah, stretch. Come on. Well, I tried taking the cat out for a walk. We got outside, and the train came through, and I think she heard people on the trail, so she got scared, so she wanted to come back in right away. But last night, we were here at the same park, and she was out for quite a while. So some nights it works, some nights it doesn't. Maybe we'll try somewhere else a little bit later. Alright, here's the situation. We drove about an hour towards Houston. We're in a Walmart parking lot. Steve's in the front seat doing some editing. I went in to make sure that we could actually park here because it was a little debatable by what we read on iOrlander. But we've gotten the green light, so we're parked here for the night. And I'm going to try to take Lady Grey out for a walk again. Come on, puppy. We'll see how that goes. Come on, put your little head through. Good girl. Put your arm through. Good girl. Your winter fur. You ready? You ready to go outside? Huh? You ready to go outside? Well, it's time for us to get some sleep. We'll see you in the morning. accomplished. Awesome. A few, a few missions accomplished. Just in time. Breakfast is on the stove. Nice. All right. Well, breakfast is in my belly and it's time to get back on the road. So Steve has shared before we have these little gadgets here to keep our stuff from falling out. Specifically, this toiletry bag. Alrighty, folks. Well, this is where we're going to leave you for today. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to leave you. We'll be back next time, kitty. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for watching. As always, we love hearing from you, so please drop us a comment. And until next time, see ya. This morning we woke up at Walmart, which we expected. We knew that. We... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So here's the updated situation. We drove about an hour, and start that again. So here's the updated situation. We drove an about an and mm hmm So here's the situation. We drove about an hour. I don't know why I can't deliver this line. You'll recognize him from several NBA teams.